my life before my accident was a very active lifestyle. Um, we were always gone and moving and camping and doing all sorts of fun things. Everything was really sort of falling into place for my life, you know, I was graduating from college I had just found, you know, a perfect little apartment in a new city with friends. I was just flourishing in every aspect of my life. I was had just received my second promotion at work. I had finally gotten down how to be a single mom. I was 16 years old, so I always loved to hang out with my friends, going snowboarding, going scuba diving. It was this charming, like, navy blue apartment, and we were on the top floor, and we had this deck on the outside that expanded along the whole width of the house, and it was screened in, and you could just feel like, you know, you were a part of the world around you, but you were also, like, up in your own little world. So I loved that house, and everything was right in walking distance that you wanted to go to, so it was... It was perfect. My winter began when I woke up in the hospital um, in an ICU room by myself. Not sure where I was or um, what had happened. So my winter began by being very angry and sad at this entire situation. Um, not knowing what would come in the following months and years of this accident and why... Oh, sorry. Okay. Um. My winter basically began on November 1st of 2018. So I woke up early, uh, ran errands with my son in the morning, took him to school and then picked him up. Um, we had a plan to go to like a pumpkin patch event, um, but we were pretty tired from just running around all day. So we went home and decided to take a nap uh, before and then start getting ready. But um, we never made it to the pumpkin patch. It was the summer of 2018 and we went to the Bahamian island of Exuma. And just like everybody else does when you go to a place like that, we had gone on a touristy type excursion on a boat that was supposed to bring us around on a half day tour. And, um, you know, we set out and three minutes into it, the boat exploded right beneath my seat. My injury happened when I was 16 years old and I was a junior in high school. When I went to tackle the running back, I hit him with the top of my forehead or almost the top of my head. And just the pressure from that um, kind of caused the injury to my spinal cord. So I'm a C4, C5 quadriplegic. My brother who struggled with uh, mental health illnesses, uh, he came in and proceeded to um, just like attack us both. And from the incident, I received uh, 14 stab wounds on my back. And the first one was the one that left me like instantly paralyzed. When they could tell that I was thinking a bit more clearly, um, one psychiatrist, a surgeon, and um, two members of my family um, asked everybody else to leave. And they told me that I had lost both of my legs. But I didn't believe them. I believed them for about uh, five minutes, maybe. I cried for a minute, and then, you know, denial sort of sets in. Me and my son got put in different ambulances, so I think just the entirety of my focus that entire time was just like, where is he, where is he? It didn't really get explained to me much at first, but when it was explained to me, the doctors told me that I would never walk again, that I was going to have to live in a acute rehab facility. Um, and basically that, you know, this situation sucks and this is something I'm gonna be stuck in forever. It was just asking everyone that I could, like, about my son. I was not really paying attention to all of my stuff going on. So everyone was kind of just giving me the runaround and, like, not really wanting to tell me anything. And I just remember when my parents walked in and I just, like, looked at my dad and his face just, like, said it all. My son didn't make it. And I just remember, like, that scream that, like, people let out in the movies, like, it's real. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but I just cut it contain like 
that pain. So I think it's just the way it comes out. One night in the middle of the night, I asked someone in my, who was sitting watching me that night, I asked them to go to my phone and I actually was Googling my own name and I read all of the articles that had been posted and I watched the video that had been taken of the accident and that's when it hit me. I was like, I lost my legs, you know, that, that's when it became real.